What's going on, guys? It's your <laughs> Hey man, what's good with y'all? We DK with it today. I'm gonna be breaking down this this little this little this little Spanish, this little Latin sample we got right here. I'm gonna go ahead and play the whole joint right now. Alright, now the first thing we're going to do is the guitars. I play all of this with my real guitar. And I'm telling y'all, bruh, invest into real instruments. There's some things you just cannot do with a VST, bruh. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but I'm going to go ahead and play it. Now for guitars, you really want to emphasize having some sort of bounce, some sort of rhythm especially when it comes to like making Latin stuff. After that, I added this top melody. So after that, I just added another top melody. And for this, what I did was I played this technique called tremolo. I'm trash at it, but hey, it still sound good. Just added that, that Latin vibe, that, 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 that. After that, what I did was I, I duplicated the melody, but I I just pitched it up 500 cents. Now, I'm pretty sure there's music theory behind it. I don't know nothing about that, but at the end of the day, it sound good. That's all that matters. So inspirational. All right, the last thing I did was I added one more top melody. Now you can see like if I zoom in bruh, some of these takes aren't even like on the grid. Now I did that because I wanted this to have a human feel. In real life, not everything is quarantized. All right now for effects, what I did was I routed all the takes to one mixer bus. I added blood overdrive, just turned the color up, a little bit of reverb, and some EQ. Now for the most important thing with making Latin samples, the percussion. Most of these they're live recorded and the other ones like from here and down, I kind of just programmed, but I'm gonna go ahead and get into the live recorded ones first. All right, so the first thing I added was this shaker. After that, I added three layers of claps. And you can see like these claps, they don't even hit perfectly on the grid. In real life, things aren't robotic. After that, I added this percussion loop. Then this accent. All right now, for effects, all I did with the shakers was EQ, pancake for motion, so it goes left and right. The percussion loop, EQ just took out some of the lows, panned it to the right. For the claps, EQ, a little bit of reverb. And I think I added this limiter so they don't, they don't hit like a certain volume for this accent all i did was i took down the lows all right now for the other percussion i started off with this shaker added another shaker added another shaker added this accent this little vox and this percussive accent for now these percussion, they follow literally like the same bounce as the claps, the percussion loop as the guitar, everything, everything, regardless how minute, it's gonna complement one another. Now for effects, all I did was add an EQ and pan them left and right. After that, I added these two textures. It's literally just birds and people talking. For effects, all I did was add an EQ, just panned it to the left. For this one, same thing, EQ, paint it to the right. Next up. All right, now for this, I took my kalimba and I just recorded this simple melody right here. I duplicated and I reversed it. I 
I added this little vocal right here. This little piano texture. Really subtle, you can barely hear it. All I did for the vocal was I added EQ and a little bit of reverb. The kalimba, I didn't add anything. The reverse kalimba, a little bit of reverb, EQ, piano texture, EQ, now all of that all together. After that, I added these keys. This one shot just followed the bass notes, nothing crazy. After that, I added this brass one shot. All right, now coming to the end of the sample, all I did was add a little bit of ear candy. Added this trumpet and this bass slide. All right, now for effects for the keys, I just panned it to the left and uh, took the stereo separation knob and turned it to the right. For the brass, halftime, EQ. And for the air candy, I didn't add anything. All right, now for the last thing that I did was I recorded the sample and just pitched it down. For effects, all I did was EQ the lows out. Now everything together. Now that's the sample. Hope y'all learned something new. Let me know in the comments. Y'all might as well like and subscribe. You know what I'm saying? But other than that, we out.